Hola everybody, Vince Bognaw here. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. This video is going to be on creating keyboard shortcuts for programs. All you need to do is hit start, type in the program that you want to create a sh keyboard shortcut for. Once you find that program, right click that program and click on properties. Under the shortcut tab, hit the shortcut key box and type in any letter or number or any key on your keyboard so that whenever you hit that key, along with control and alt, the program that you want to assign a keyboard shortcut for will open up. So I'm going to choose I because iTunes starts with the letter I. So all I have to do for now on, if I want to open up iTunes, is hit control alt I. And I can run it in a normal window, a minimized window, then a maximized window. I'm going to choose a normal window for now. Hit OK. And now I'm going to hit control alt I all together on my keyboard. And what do you know? iTunes pops up. Very cool, huh? So I'm going to go back to iTunes and show you how to disable the shortcut key if you don't want to uh, keep the shortcut key anymore for iTunes or any other program that you want to create that you want to create a keyboard shortcut for. Just hit the shortcut key box, hit backspace, and it will go back to none. Um, you can use a majority of the keys on your keyboard, but you can't use some keys like the Windows key, the Enter key, and the Backspace key for obvious reasons. So I recommend you just using letters or numbers or even the up down left and right arrows uh, because those work as well so that's how you create keyboard shortcuts for programs thank you very much for watching this video and if you have an extra 15 seconds please watch this ad